Hi guys, this is just going to be a quick video to tell you my favorite tripod of all time, the Ulanzi Zero F38 quick release tripod is having a wicked sale and a lot of people were also asking me is there a fluid head that you can get with your favorite tripod of all time and yes there is one it's right here and it is also on a wicked sale so let's talk about it So I'm probably going to do a more in-depth review of this fluid tripod head with the F38 tripod and also the Zero Y tripod. It's the same tripod as the F38, but it's not a quick release. It just has the regular Arca Swiss, and this one is not on a big sale. So we're not going to talk about this one right now, although I love that tripod so much. But look at this. It has the same footprint. It has basically the same features, except the ball head is slightly different to accommodate, you know, the quick release. But look at how small these tripods are. They're about two pounds. They have the quick release feet. Anyway, I have done a ton of reviews on them. I will link them below, but uh, anyone looking for a sturdy carbon fiber tripod that is super light and so easy to carry, smaller than some water bottles. I actually have that in one of my thumbnails. I'm holding up a big water bottle. Of course, it's a bit taller than the water. The girth, the girth is smaller than a water bottle. That's a fun word, girth. But yeah, the F38 is a quick release system and I have the plates on all of my gear these days. And here's my little selfie stick here that I take out vlogging and you just slide that on and it's locked and you can take it off, slide it on that tripod when the fluid head tripod is not on. Or you can actually add one of the little plates to the fluid head tripod because that takes regular Arca Swiss and that's what these fit. So let's just do that. So I stuck a little F38 base plate. I bought a few of those separately as well. Stuck it on to the fluid head tripod. And now this is also a quick release system. Can you believe, I just, I have one for the backpack. Here it is, attached to my backpack strap ready to go. So this is the fluid head right here. It is dead simple and you can attach it to not only the F38 tripod, but you can attach it to uh, any tripod here. There's two different screw mounts uh, to put in for the bigger threads or the smaller threads and uh, you can just choose whichever one you want. And it's just very basic. You, you can't really adjust the tension uh, on any markings. You just kind of have to do it by feel. I'll just put it on and I'll show you. And how you actually put it on, you take the quick release ball head right out of the F38. 38. You put in this little zero column that comes with the F38 when you want to do something like this. And then you attach the fluid head to this little screw here, this little thread. I think it's a quarter thread, is it? Right here. There we go. And now we are good to go. Let's put on a camera. So that counterweight there makes it smooth so that even if you let it go and you forget it, it doesn't drop down hard. It goes down nice and smooth. And you can tighten this here to just get the right amount of tension so that it stops at your camera, but you can still move it if you put in a little bit of force right there, or you could just tighten it up and lock it down if you want. And when it comes to panning, you just loosen the screw here and then you can control how fast or slow you want your movements to be. If you want panning and tilting, you go right ahead. You can do the panning and the tilting. I absolutely love the Ulanzi tripods, the Zero Y and the Zero F38. I've been using them pretty much every day since I guess I got them in August. I actually took this tripod out with the heaviest lens I have ever had in my entire life in my hands and I used the F38 tripod and it's fine. I got a picture of a snowy owl. This is the picture right here that he wouldn't open his eyes because he was a little bugger. But let me, I still have the lens. Let me show you. Oh, good God in heaven. Would you just look at this? This is a 60 to 600 millimeter from Sigma. It's crazy. It's great lens, uh, but let's put it on this. I can't even get it in the shot. Hold on. Well, now look at that. Now I wouldn't recommend you use a small travel tripod if you're going to do a lot of sports and wildlife and you're using giant lenses like this. But the thing is, I took this lens out and I thought I was going to do some handheld bird shooting, but then that dumb owl wouldn't move off the dock. So uh, I decided to take out my Zero F38 tripod, stuck the lens on there and it was fine. No camera shake, no nothing. It was great. This is actually the fluid head right now. I've actually not tried this before until now. And look at that, it's holding just fine. Look at this, now I can have a pan and tilt head with the giant 60 to 600. Still, go get yourself, you know, one of those Gitzo. Oh look, I still have the lens cap on. That you're not going to get a lot of shots when you do that. So anyway, if it can handle this, it can handle whatever you're going to throw at it. 
So it's going to be a five day sale. These two things combined normally are $420. And honestly, it's probably still worth it, but you can get it right now with my discount code and the codes that they're offering. It is uh, my discount code is crisis. I will write it in the description below and you can get it for $305. These two things combined, or you can just get the tripod itself for something like $283, which I think is the lowest price I have ever seen this tripod. So uh, go grab that if you want. I know a lot of my audience, they were asking if there's any deals on this tripod coming up. So here it is, five day deal, grab it while you can. Maybe I'll take this video down when the deal is over and then I'll do a more in-depth review. But uh, you know, I just wanna let you guys know. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you again soon. Okay, bye-bye.